Hi everyone, Nina here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so excited to share with you this new release from Art by Marlene. She made this amazing die set that creates multiple tag journal pages attached together like this. Do you fold it up and down like an accordion? And it looks amazing. I love it so much. And it comes with a lot of accessories to decorate your journal pages. So many amazing options. I'm gonna start by cutting it. Look how big it is and uh, it creates look how amazing the tiny tiny little pieces this one creates a pocket that you can add to your page look at this beautiful um, decoration piece so many of them i'm gonna die cut them all from white including also the uh, art journal foldable uh, tag journal so I can show you how they all look. It's very beautiful. And look at these reinforce, uh, reinforcement shapes for the holes of each of the tag uh, journal pages. So many beautiful, so many beautiful stuff. It even has, it even has a die that creates a mechanism to close the art journal. And then I got these two beautiful um, big stencils. And then the t the smaller ones the long smaller ones that i got uh, there i think there are three sets but i got two each set comes uh, with three stencils look look at the beautiful tiny tiny de designs and details over here it's uh, making it very easy to write a sentiment and this is the other set look how beautiful that it's it creates a frame for your page and look how beautiful this one I love this one a lot it creates such a beautiful frame for your art journal page they're all linked down below if you want to check any up here I use my die cutting machine and white Bristol smooth paper and then die die cut all the pieces that are included in the die set look how beautiful this is you just uh, alternate between um, uh, folding the art journal the tag pages and look how beautiful this design is really really nice and these are the small little pieces i did i cut them all also from white bristol smooth paper i use my tool in one uh, pick tool to remove the tiny pieces from the uh, that are attached to the tiny die cut pieces look how beautiful these are and i'm gonna use a lot of them to decorate my art journal at the end today i'm uh, like showing you these unboxing these and then we are going to create a beautiful art journal using this set look how beautiful these things coordinate together these two little uh, borders coordinate together look how beautiful this one is and there are a lot of tiny pieces and a lot of borders i love all the borders look how beautiful this one is check this one to decorate the art journal page it's a pocket that you can add and then add this tiny tinier uh, tag inside it look how this is supposed to decorate the top of your uh, uh, tag page beautiful i want to actually uh, create a sort of a rainbow colors so i chose five colors from my distress inks that like it so it would look like it's a rainbow i want each page to have a color of the from the rainbow so i started from the purple and ended up with ended up with the red i did smoosh against my glass mat and then sprayed them with water and then sprayed my art journal as well and i'm just going to flip my art journal and make a first layer of all these colors I will always smoosh it in the same order I don't want to place it somewhere else because I don't want the colors to mix together and give me not a nice color I want them to stay separate colors almost separate on each page over here I'm going to come again with the same color that I use for each page and I'm going to use my blender and slightly blend the edges to define the edges of each one I'm gonna even uh, fold it so I do not accidentally blend the other color and then I'm going to do the same thing for all the pages look how defined each page on its own so beautiful I use the same colors that we smooshed again the glass mat and then I'm going to come with these beautiful two rubber stamp sets they help me so much to create to decorate uh, my background even more it gives a beautiful texture on my um, art journal pages i'm using them 
I'm not using a acrylic block or anything because I don't want it, I don't want it to be stamped really properly. I want it to be sketchy like this, little bit here, little bit there. I'm using different stamps on different areas, and I'm using my black archival ink, so it stays permanent and it doesn't change no matter what I do on top of it. Then I'm going to come with my white gel pen, and I'm going to color inside these stamped areas just for extra texture and extra interest on my pages. I'm gonna try to decorate each little area. I don't have to color everything, but I'm going to put, like to add some lines over here and there, and I'm gonna do it for all the pages. So it's a seamless design on all the pages, something that I want them to match together. I don't want it when you feel that when you open them up next to each other, I don't want each one of them to have a different a single vibe to it. I want them all to have the same vibe and match together. Then I'm going to bring my black marker, thin black marker, and I'm going to also color so to draw sketchy lines over here and there, color some areas where I stamped those little images to give black and white colors. Looks so beautiful. Over here I did choose some die cuts that I took out from these uh, booklets that I have from all art bar Marlene different releases I'm not going to use all of them but I wanted to have a lot of options so I can mix and match and choose whatever matches I want to place like what I'm doing over here I take every piece and I try it on all of the five pages to make sure and check where it pops the most following the color wheel uh, method I had a previous video, it really explains how to choose the your die cut area or your focal element so it can pop against the background using the color wheel to help you choose what best colors match together. I'm gonna link it on the top right corner so if you wanna check it. So over here, the grill is wearing these pink and blue colors so I found that it's gonna look nice on this sort of lemon color background. and then I'm going to go fast forward so you can see the process how I choose each of my elements on the pages over here I did find the card that is red matches perfectly with the blue tag page same thing with the red stop sign it pops very nice against the blue and the same thing with the red tag the blue pops really nice against it Here I did use the yellowish sort of greenish leaves against the purple. Look how it pops. And I also found out that the blue won't look nice here, the, the blue block. So I changed it for this yellow block. It pops nicely against the purple. And I'm going to take my time, find out what die cuts work the best for each one. And I'm going to keep just using my Nuvo glue to glue some of them over here and there. Then I'm going to bring the plate of the die cuts, the white die cuts that I just uh, made using the new set, uh, our new tag journal set from Art Impression, uh, from Art by Merlin. And I'm going to use them to decorate the art journal pages. We're done with the stamping and we're done with the with the die cuts. And then I'm going to use these uh, little decorations that came with the set. To decorate with white I'm adding some white over here and there and I want it to be seamless design so all the pages will match together then I found this piece that really looked so beautiful and pops against the red so much and I decided to place it on top and match the bottom with with white as well uh, but when I finished the the white parts on the red tag I found out that it's, it has a lot of white more than the other tag pages and that made me feel awkward because I told you I want them all to be seamless and I felt somehow that it needs to balance if the last page has a lot of white I felt that the first page should have some white as well to balance it later I'm gonna bring a white strip and I'm going to put it around the to reinforce the opening the top hole of the purple uh, first page over here I'm I'm decorating more 
decorating more with the little pieces that I die cut. Here is the part where I decide to add more white on the left so they balance with the right. And I did remove the little bit of the leaf so I can insert the white behind it. And then I glued the leaf back on top of the white strip. I'm using my black uh, marker, thin marker, so I can define more the die cuts from all the booklets. It makes them really pop and show more. And over here, I found out that I totally forgot to ground my car. I always like to do that. I hate things are floating, especially when it's a human or a car or a tree. I always feel that it has to be uh, grounded somehow. For example, the blocks on the left are not grounded. It doesn't make me feel bad, these little blocks on the purple one. But what makes me feel bad when a person is floating, the girl is sitting on this line and the car is grounded with this hill. A human, a car, a, a tree, flower, I always feel that they have to be grounded. Over here, I did add uh, the word life on the first page and then is on the second page and then a series and then off. And then over here, I'm going to add moments, moments using these stickers from a Heidi Swap collection. And I'm going to link them down below so you can check if you want to, uh, to check them. Then I'm going to use the eyelets, my eyelets collection, and I'm going to use my crocodile to secure it in place to give extra interest on my pages. Although I did add the reinforcement that came with the kit, but still I felt that the eyelet will give it a nice touch. And I also did add a little... Uh, yellow ribbon on the first page so when you close it you can see the ribbon like this and here you can see the word life on the first page and is on the second page and then a series on the third page of on the fourth page and moments so the whole thing will read life is a series of moments so I had so much fun creating this with you guys today. And I hope all your moments are happy. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Leave you now with the images. Bye.